Hello and welcome back to my advanced and it present tutorial part 3. <clears throat> um, in this part we're going through Lichyard, Spectre and Dream 1. Uh, after Pride More Keep, before you go to Lichyard you uh, go to Village and buy the orbs, which I have already done. So you just go to the village, go down to the basement and buy the orbs. It costs 2,500 gold. Uh, and then, in uh, Lichyard, in the beginning, it's nothing special, except the first frog. First you grab these gold on the way, the three fives. And then this frog, it can be a pain in the ass sometimes. A real big pain in the ass. Uh, sometimes when you get over here, he can actually land over here and do a very weird jump. So you a you actually have to stand, wait here, shovel him and then go up, or you have to take damage and then you get pushed back. If you see that he's like going to land over here and give you a very bad jump, it's better to just damage boost him. Just jump up here and damage boost him before he lands. Sometimes you get pushed back up here, sometimes you get pushed here. And it's actually faster than just trying to go around him or wait for him. Here you don't have to do anything special, just get past this frog, but I actually like to poke with this. And then, I'm just gonna kill him, so he's not in the way. You wanna grab these two tents, or you can shovel, like drive by shovel that dirt pile. But I actually like Pogo here, and then you cancel the Pogo, otherwise you will Pogo this one. And then you will lose frames by uh, getting the hitting the plant and then Pogo. Next screen, just copy this movement. And here you actually want to kill the skeleton with the orbs. You have enough magic to do so, and you get 30, ma uh, 30 more gold, like for free. So that's free gold. Here, let's poke with this one, and then shovel, pogo. Uh, you don't want to do it too um, early, I, I mean uh, too high up on the skeleton, because that makes you bonk the ceiling to my left, and you will like grab the uh, ladder around here. So you want to grab the ladder at the top. Sometimes it's you, you can't do anything about it, but it's it's fine. So, uh, frog skip. There are two versions of this. Two versions. Uh, the old one that people still use, and there is a new one with an orb. The old one is a damage boost uh, strat. You walk into the frog, take damage, then you stand on top of the frog, shovel, and then jump up and pogo. So this is what it looks like. So take damage, shovel pogo, and then go up, and you're up. Uh, the orb strat, you, when you get up the ladder, you short hop and short hop again. What, uh, and you keep holding your left all the time. In the second short hop, you throw an orb, and then you... Uh, Hold down for pogo. As soon as you hold pogo, uh, as soon as you pogo the frog, you hold right. So it looks like this. Oh shit! I didn't have orbs equipped. <laughs> there we go. And this strat, this orb strat, I do recommend on learning it because it saves 1.3 seconds exactly over the old uh, damage boost strat. And since it's so early on in the run, you might as well learn it. It's not very tricky, it's just... It can be a little bit tricky learning it, but it's fine. And here, just jump over the frogs, shovel this ghost, and then you jump and get these 50s that are above the, those two red platforms. Uh, here, if you're doing any other round than orb, you have to um, pogo the skeleton by like just going up here and just hold down as you're walking off this platform, this ledge. So you pogo all the way over the skeletons, all the way to the ladder. 
but for orb you can just kill them and get free gold uh, and just continue uh, what I do what I like to do I full jump when I get to the checkpoint like one oh shit uh, right on top of the uh, checkpoint so I full jump and in the max like when you're coming above this uh, ledge you use uh, you throw two orbs and then jump immediately after because if you do that you will get like the stopping animation like this because you throw an, you threw an orb so throw two orbs and then jump directly after so it looks like this and don't pay attention to the gold when you're running through here, just pay attention to the ladders. You can grab this as early as possible. Don't run like this and then jump. Just look at the ladder because you will get the gold automatically. Automatically, you won't get all of it, but it's enough. It's like a, it's only bonus gold, so it doesn't matter. So just jump up and grab the ladder. Continue. And here, hold Pogo and just spam jump. Drive by this, get over here. You can do whatever you want here on this platform, but I like to do this. Like, land here and then do a short hop and then jump again. Some people actually full jump and full jump again. I don't like that because it, I don't know. I don't know why, I, I like to do this. Uh, same thing here with this frog. You can kill him with an orb. I don't like doing that, so I just do this small jump over the that big skeleton and then another medium jump and then a high jump so you can grab that's a good setup for the platform to grab the ladder at the top of like at the top of the ladder here and then just go up just walk over here avoid the red beetle break these blocks and here in the screen transition I actually jump and then throw two orbs. That is a good setup for if the frog jumps right, the orbs will kill him. Depending on his jump, of course. Sometimes he can be a bitch. And if he jumps left, you just shovel attack him. Unless the orbs hit him. So he. Okay, so it did kill him, but he jumped so far to the right that he like came into this corner so the orbs did still kill him so that's good and this second frog depending on where he is uh, you have to take damage uh, some if he is in the left corner and you're waiting for the platform to go down actually hold left like face left so you don't get damage boosted away like this and then like it doesn't really matter but I'd like to do that because in case he, um, in case he uh, is very close to the left again, you can poke him directly. And if he's on the right side, I'm just gonna wait for him to. You can just, if he's there, that's perfect. If he's here or here, like around this area, you can just jump and poke him two times and then get this pogo, and you will get through very quickly. Otherwise, if he's on the right side. You uh, throw orb, one or two, it doesn't matter, and just make him stay out of your way as you were falling down. Uh, and this is the first checkpoint that we break. So break this. And here, actually, um, the lost skeleton in this room, uh, you can attack and kill him, but there is an orb strat. To push him to the left so you pass through him as he's ta taking damage so you are passing through his invisibility frames and that I I haven't timed it but it does save time because you never you never stop holding right and you never run into a wall in the last platform on the, on the last platform so you, you never stop holding right so this is definitely worth it so um, you see that platform on the right? I'm gonna jump off of that. Pogo the first skeleton. 
and in the top of the pogo, like after the pogo, as you're at the maximum height of that pogo, as you're descending again, as you're going down, that's when you throw an orb. So like this. And that is a perfect setup to hit this, the lost skeleton to make him bounce left and you can pass through him. So it looks like this. So that's it. That's perfect. Okay. So continue. Just get through here. Hold right all the time. Pogo. Uh, he actually gave me a very good RNG there. If you can get the pogo hit off him on the second pogo, you will get the ladder immediately. If it takes a long time for him to like be activated, you have to go all the way to this this plant, and then it's gonna be slower. Uh, this checkpoint is optimal to break. Um, in a race, don't break it. I recommend. Unless you're very confident. Um, uh, yeah, in a race, you can... Uh, oh, shit. In a race, you can spare this checkpoint. Optimally, you want to break it because it's 500 gold. And uh, it's very worth it. Otherwise, you will have to... Uh, uh, get 500 gold somewhere else for later use So break this This room just get past the frogs If you are quick enough to get here and I just got mail nice If you are quick enough to get here without the frogs being much of a trouble you can dig this up And then go up uh, I have a visual key here. I'm gonna see if I can show you. Okay. If you don't have time to dig up the pile, then don't. So you can make the cycle. Uh, see where I put the red arrow? This black line. When the tip of the right side of the moving platform that you are standing on. That's when you do a full jump. That, uh, you can probably do it earlier, but that's that's what I like to do with my visual cue. That's my good visual cue. That's when I do a full jump to the second moving platform. And then there are two things you can do with the two green skeletons on the vertical platforms. You can either land on the right side of the first green skeleton and then jump over to the right side and kill the skeleton in that jump. Or you can do the orb strat where you jump from the second horizontal platform, the one that I'm first jumping to. So you jump from that one, pogo the first green skeleton, and you're holding right all the time. And as soon as you pogo the first green skeleton, you throw an orb. And that kills the second green skeleton, so you never stop holding right. So I recommend learning this. It's a bit scary, but it's it's worth learning it. So I'm actually gonna just reset that. So it looks like this. And then continue. Jump over. And get fast. If you don't break this checkpoint, the the one before this, you can actually break this one for gold. This is 350 gold. The checkpoint before is 500, so you still need 150. Um, so that is up to you. The, my advice, if you do break this checkpoint and not the one before, in Mole Knight City later on, there is a, a room exploding block room after the, the I think it's the screen after the second checkpoint there is in the ceiling there are three red gems you can grab two of them so you have 100 so that kind of makes up for it if you want to be safe but it wastes a second or two so it's not it's not that good but yeah 
Okay, so Spectre with orbs. Um, in the beginning of the fight, you just walk into the fight, and then you... I'm actually gonna show the fight, so we'll see. So, do that first, to push him back to the right side corner. And then you stand here on the left side, take damage, damage boost the side here. And he always teleports to the left corner, right? You can see him spawning there on the left side. So you just shovel cancel him until and until he goes back up to the right side. And then you stand here, where I'm standing right now. As he's, when he's coming down uh, to the left now, he's gonna turn around, so you hit him twice. To push him back into this corner, but you have to wait for him to turn around to when, uh, like, when he, after he passed you, when he's flying. So you wait for him to turn around, and then you hit him twice. And then, you do another two hits right there before he does his teleport. And then when you fall down, you do the uh, double projectile glitch by uh, throwing an orb and then jump immediately after. And that makes Shovel Knight throw out two orbs. So it doesn't matter if it gives you the good teleport, which is in the left corner, or if it gives you the bad teleport, because he will always take two hits from the orbs. So like this, and then shovel cancel them until he's dead. If he gives you the bad RNG, I'm going to show you, but first I actually have to show you the dream one. I'm going to show you what you need to do for the backup for, um, what's it called? <laughs> for the bad teleport that it gives you. So I'm gonna show you the bad uh, uh, the, ba the bad RNG backup. So here in Dream 1, uh, you have to put copy because I can't pause here. So take damage from the swords. Hit twice, take damage again. Do that again, make them go left a little bit. And then die right beneath Shield Knight or a little bit to the left. And then just jump out. So you want to you want to kill the two right side skeletons for gold. If you can manage that at the same time as you're dying as quick as possible, it's worth doing it. Okay, so that's that's that. So now I'm gonna show you. I don't have orbs for this. Actually, what I could do... No, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you the backup. I don't have orbs, so... Now, what I'm showing you here... Uh, in the real strat, when you have orbs... Um, he will have four hits left, if you did the fight correctly. If he gives you the bad teleport. So he will have 4 hits left. In this low percent he will have 6 hits left. So you do the same thing, hit him back, damage boost, shovel cancel, wait for him to turn around, 1, 2, 1, 2, throw orbs, and then 1, 2, wait for him to move. He would have died there, but since I don't have orbs in challenge mode, he had six hits left instead. So when he teleports back up, you can you can hit him for free two times before he starts moving, and that's when you do the ping pong strats. So you just play ping pong with him into the corner. So one, two, wait. One, two, three, four, and then he's dead with the warp strat. But since this is low percent, it's six. So yeah, that's it for part three of my advanced any percent tutorial. Uh, we 
we went through Orb, uh, Lich Yard, and Spectre Knight, and the Dream One. And the ne next part is going to be Lost City, the Mole Knight. Uh, yeah. So thank you for watching and uh, keep on shoveling. And I'll see you around.